A whole bag full of treasures. Stay tuned to see what's inside. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller, a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, before we go in, I wanted to let you guys know, um, if you like these type of videos right now, please go subscribe to my channel. Um, hit that bell button, that way you're notified every time I go live and when I post a new video. And I'm really, really trying to get to 10,000 subscribers because as soon as I get to 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away this very rare bullseye pattern Pyrex dish for free as a gift from me to you. So as soon, and I'm going to pay for shipping too. So as soon as I hit 10,000 subscribers, guys, I will be giving away this dish for free. So go subscribe. Please share my channel with all your friends. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another haul video for you guys today. This is a haul from yesterday's picking video you seen where I went to the Goodwill bins. I found quite a bit of fun treasures. I only ended up spending $26, so not too bad. Um, I'm gonna show you everything that I got right now. A whole bag full of treasures. So this was one of the things that, whoops, this is one of the things that I picked up. I love it. It's just one of those metal signs. You can get it like Hobby Lobby or whatnot, but it's, I like it, you know? It's not, doesn't weigh very much and it's cute and it's anthropomorphic. You know, I love my faces. So I picked that up. I picked up this cute little patch cause I'm, you know, this doesn't weigh anything. And I thought it would just be fun to stick in like a grab bag or a mystery box or something like that. I did end up picking up this clock and the handles do glow. I'll show you pictures up here that they do glow, but it, I like the bubble glass on it. It is a, a General Electric made in the USA and I plugged it in and it does work. So you can see how it's got like the, con um, the converse glass or convex glass, however you say that, the bubble glass. So that's cute. And you guys, I was even able to find some vintage Christmas still, which is awesome. So this is one of the things that I picked up, new old stock, those um, satin bulbs. You know, the ones with, they're like all the string or whatever. I love them, new old stock, brand new, so cute. So of course I was gonna pick those up. And then this is sort of Christmassy and I have light kits I have some so I will um, put one in here and show you it lit up I'll show you pictures up here but this is a vintage plastic church music box you can see how it has it needs cleaned it's really really dirty um, look see I'm gonna give you a close-up so you can see how dirty it is I'm going to clean this all up and make it look nice but you can see the stained glass windows and see, it looks like it was, it's cracked, but it's not cracked. It's just dirt, so. And it does play really nicely. Um, it says Raylite, manufactured by Raylite Electric Corp, New York. So I'm gonna have to look these up. I just think it's so cool. It's a nice size, see? I like that. And of course, it's not going to stop playing. And I did find some vintage reindeer. These are stinking cute and adorable. 
These are like the felt. Take them out of the package so you can see them like the felted reindeer. They've got a little bit of wear here and there, but nothing too bad. There's that one and then this one. I'm gonna throw that bag away, but. So cute, right? In really good condition. So of course I picked those up. And I did pick up some more vintage Tupperware glasses. I know you guys like these vintage Tupperware glasses. They're in good condition. This one has like one little scratch, you know, nothing too bad. Like on the inside, they're still in really nice shape. That's my shadow on my fingers. But yeah, they're in really nice shape. So I picked up that set. And then I stuck this. Now, I don't know if this works or not, but I thought this was so cute. It's just a little vintage flashlight. See? I don't know. I don't think it has any batteries in it right now because it's lightweight. But, yeah, pretty cool. I like the shape of that. I th again, something that I would like to stick in, like, a mystery box or a grab bag or something like that. And then I did pick this up for myself. I am going to keep her. She is a rainbow bright. Um, this is totally my childhood right here. And so she is going to go on my Christmas tree here after this video. I'm going to get a hook for her. I have lots of hooks. And so I'm going to, and look, he, her little friend even has his antenna still. So cute. So yes, she's going to go on my tree. And then I did pick up this. Now, I thought this might be Bakelite. I'm not quite for sure if it is. It looks like Bakelite. I need to... Here. Hold on. Sometimes if you rub it with your finger, it'll smell. It'll give off a certain scent. It, I'm not for sure. I don't know. It kind of looks like Bakelite to me. But I don't even know what this utensil is. I just like the handles. I thought it was cool. So if you guys know what this utensil is for, let me know in the comments below. And then I also picked up this vintage kitchen mixer, this hand mixer. It still works very nicely. It is a vintage Mayer, Maynard one, it says on the handle. So again, something that I thought would be good in like a mystery box or a grab bag, whatever. And then I did, oh, careful, Missy. Sheesh. I did pick up a whole bag of the vintage beaded fruit. It's all beaded. See, in good condition. There's all different kinds, ones, there's even little berries. So I thought they were. That was a fun find, a whole bag of different colored ones and different fruits. So, put those in my cart. And then these are cool. These are neat. These are the vintage Scirocco wood. Well, they're not real wood. It's like the plastic, you know, Scirocco. Oh, very, very 70s chic wall decor i like it i think they're cute so there's these two that are a set i want to see, make sure they have the same date on there yes they do and then this other one kind of matches it but it's mushrooms you've seen me pick up this one out of the goodwill bins it's the same color and it is Sirocco, the same year. So I don't know if this goes with this whole set. You guys can let me know. I think it's kind of odd that this mushroom, I don't think it does, because these are like fruit and flowers and stuff. So I don't know. But I did pick up three other ones. Let me see if I can find them here. Let they go. Well, maybe. Let me set those. I can't find the other one right now. It, it's probably at the bottom of the stack. I'll get to it in a minute. 
But I did pick up these. Look, they're originally only 20 cents. I like the box. It is the Christmas tree hangers. New, old stock. Well, I don't, I don't know if the box has been open. Well, you can easily open the box, but a bunch of hangers, which I already have some. I like this vintage box, so this is probably going to go with a lot of vintage Christmas stuff. So I just thought that was cute. And then you see me pick up these. I love these little anthropomorphic shelf sitters. And these are the flowers. Now they made these in like fruits and vegetables and different flowers and stuff like that. This, I think there was another couple of flowers that would have went with this set, like a red one, I believe, a red rose. And I'm not for sure the other one, but they're so stinking cute and adorable. They have faces. How fun. Just the resin anthropomorphic shelf sitters. This one is in really good condition. I don't think it has any chips at all, but this one has one tiny chip right there on his petal. But other than that, he's in good shape. And then I picked up this whole bag full of these, and this barely weighs anything. It don't hardly weigh anything at all, of these um, clips. Now, I know these aren't vintage, but they're still really cool. They have the clips on the back, so you can clip them onto anything. These would be really cool to craft with, or like make a curtain, clip on the side of a curtain. Because there's all different ones. There's like this cute little fairy. And they're plastic with like the nylon wings. Cute. And some of them are missing their clips, just a couple of them, not many, but I didn't really want to leave them behind. There's some really cute ones in here. I, mean, I like this one at the bottom. There's actually two of these, one pink one and one purple one. Oh my gosh, aren't they so cute? With the nylon wings again and I just think they're adorable. So I picked up that whole entire bag. There's all different ones, colors, butterflies, dragonflies, fairies, even these. Look at these fairies. There's a few of these fairies in there. They like the plastic. Or angels, I guess. Maybe these ones are like angels. I think they're cute. What a fun, fun bag. And then I did pick myself up another ornament. I did find this cute, cute hot air balloon wooden Santa ornament. So this one is going to be, oh, there we go. It was upside down. There we go. This one is going to be hang, staying in with me and hanging on my Christmas tree. I have a thing for hot air balloons. And I just thought this one was really neat and cool. So it's going to go on my Christmas tree. I was able to find a vintage rainbow mug. Now this is the FTDA uh, made in 1984. These are really popular. I can't remember what show this was on. I'm having a brain fart. You can let me know in the comments below. But this mug was on a popular TV show. And then I picked up this little turtles again, something to put inside a little grab bag or mystery box, something little cute, little resin turtle. Same with this, unless my mother tells me that she wants it. Um, I thought it was cute. It's a little wall hanging mother Mary. And I think she's supposed to like hold holy water maybe or something. I don't know. But I just thought that was a cute little piece. I thought this angel was cute. I really like it. Just a little, see it's like the size of my hand. Not very big at all. And 
in this vintage beaded bag. You guys know I love my vintage purses and stuff. And this one is all completely beaded. All those are beads. It's so gorgeous. Really, really, really good condition. No beads are missing. And I appreciate all the work. Can you imagine the time that went into making this? All those beads. It's beautiful. And it is made in Hong Kong. It has its tag right there, made in Hong Kong. And it has a chain. That was tucked inside so that is pretty cool i like that i like that piece and then i picked up this now i know it's not old but it's stinking cute and adorable it's a metal sign like a metal wall decor it doesn't barely weigh anything and it's so kitschy and cute it would fit in, in with any vintage. Even though it's not vintage, it looks vintage. And it would fit in with any cute vintage d Christmas display. I really love it. You could sit it in your window seal. Um, you could hang it up. You could just sit it on a shelf. It's just really cute and kitschy. And I love it. And then I was able to find this vintage Ben Cooper mask. I don't know what kind of costume this was. Creepy, but here we go. <laughs> and it is marked on the inside Ben Cooper. Where did it go? It is because I did see it somewhere. I know I did because that's why I picked it up. I don't know where it's in. Oh, right here. Ben Cooper. So that's pretty cool. That's something I'm just going to stick in like a mystery box, you know, gift bag, something along the lines. Same with this. I thought this piece was really weird and unique. I don't know if it's a whistle. I'm assuming it's a whistle. I don't want to put my mouth on it, but it's, I don't know. I like faces. It's weird and different. It doesn't weigh anything. Thought it would look cool in a box. In a mystery bag or box or whatever. I thought this piece was really cool. It is the vintage Knott's Berry Farm um, from California. It's like kind of the same materials, what those Kirok plates or trays, you know what I'm talking about. It's really cool. And it has its original um, Made in Japan sticker on the back right there. And then I thought this would be so fun for a little girl. So fun. Look at all that stuff in there. So many beads, bracelets, all kinds of just fun, fun things. A really, really, really fun gift bag. I mean, here, I'll pull some things out so you can see. I like the different, well, maybe. It's kind of all twisted and turned together. Yeah, I'm not going to worry, worry about that. I'll just give you guys a close-up. It is so cool. It's got like charms. Bracelets. Necklaces. I mean, so many fun, fun different beads in there and pieces. If this is a gallon size bag, so you, as you can see, it's, well, if you put it out, flatten it down, it's completely full. So cool. I just thought this was so fun. So, so fun for a girl to go through. And I did end up picking this old vintage book up. It's different birds. And I just thought it was neat. If you like birds, this book is for you. Um, let me see if I can find a copyright. Copyright 1947. It's 1947 bo bird book. So pretty cool. 
And then I did pick up these two Spanish books because I just think the illustrations in them are so stinking cute and adorable. I know the bindings are in a little bit rough shape, but you could craft with these. You could do all kinds of different stuff. Look at the inside cover. Isn't that, I just think that's so adorable. So stinking cute. And it's all in Spanish, like I said. I don't see these ever very often, I, so I thought that was pretty cool and unique. Yeah, it's got really cute illustrations. So I thought that was fun. There's that one, and then here's this one, which is adorable. Oh my gosh, look at those, look at the snail in the background. So cute. I'm trying to find, look it. Now tell me you wouldn't have left these behind. Would you have left these behind in the bins? I just think they're so cute and adorable. And only spending $27, or $26, excuse me, $26 on all this stuff, I don't think I did too bad. And I did find more vintage Christmas stuff. Oh, I love these new in the package lights. Look at the package. Still in really, really, really good condition. I think they're so cute. I love the packaging. I would display these in my Christmas display, you know, if I still decorated just like this. I used to decorate my house like crazy for Christmas time. It was like the North Pole threw up. But then I started working out of my home and I can't really do that no more. I still decorate a little bit, as you can see, but not as much. And then, of course, I picked up these vintage rummy cards. These are so stinking kitschy and cute. This is actually a vintage deck. Um, they were only 39 cents. <laughs> and look, look at some of the cards on the inside. I like how they're shaped. You could do a lot with these, you know, package toppers, um, tags for your treasures at your booth. Um, you can decoupage with these. They're just so stinking cute and adorable and you could do so much. So there's a whole deck. I don't know if the whole deck is there, but there's quite a bit of cards there. So I picked up that and then, okay, so here's what I was going to show you. just a few minutes ago now you see i picked up the sirocco wood pieces or plastic pieces and i was able to find three vegetables so the radishes the mushrooms and the carrots aren't these so stinking kitschy and cute now these are green on the back and i think the date might be different yeah these are home co these are not the Sirocco, these are Homeco. But still like the plasticky, you know, the vintage plastic material. So cute to hang up in your kitchen and so much fun. And then I thought this was such a fun card game um, from 1984. It's the pocket trivia television game from 1984. Oh, that's so funny. And look, it still has its, um, oh no, that's all the cards. A dirty trench coat and a cigar were what detectives trademark? I don't know. Um, name the car on Knight Rider. Again, I don't know. These are before my time. I was born in 83, but... Obviously, I didn't watch TV because I was just a baby, so. I don't know. These are so much fun. There's so many, so many questions here. 
What cartoon series features the friendly ghost? Casper? I do know that one. So yeah. That is cool. Oh, it tells the answers down there. I'm a dum dum. How fun. That would be fun to play um, at a live sale sometime or something like that. That'd be a fun game. Trivia. And then the last thing in this sack, in the first sack, is this cute, cute elephant planter. Adorable. I'm not for sure if this is, um, you know, is it American Bisque? Is it McCoy? Is it, I don't know. I don't know the maker. All I do know that is that it is in good condition. There's no chips or cracks. And it's just got, it's paint loss on its eyes. But it's so cute. I didn't want to leave it behind. Cute little elephant planter with its trunk up. And then I was able to find this. So much fun. I plugged it in. It does light up. It is a night light, bubble light. So you plug it in and then turn it on. I did, like I said, I did plug it in and it does light up. So. And then I got a whole bag of linens. A whole bag of linens again. I love picking up these. They don't weigh a whole lot. Oh, that's pretty. That one's really, really pretty. Somebody made these. They did a good job. A really good job. And then like scarves. There's some scarves in here. Um, another scarf. more of these things these are so pretty look at the colors even so pretty and then there's more of those in there too and then there's this i love it it is again a vintage smock it is a vintage smock you know like the ladies vest that they wore when they were baking or when they worked in a grocery store or whatever I love it. I love the pattern. It's so kitschy and cute and so much fun. So I picked up that whole bag of linens. We like linens. And then the last thing that I picked up was this vintage lamp. I think it's so stinking cute and adorable. Perfect, easy shipping. Um, these are vintage. I've sold these in the past, but the ones that I've sold were the hanging ones. I have never sold a, one like this, a, like a desk lamp or whatever. Um, this is would be so cool for like a crafting room or your eBay room or whatever. Just so much fun. I'll put pictures of, up here of it all lit up because it's so vintage and kitschy and fun and I love it. So that was my haul, you guys. Like I said, I only spent $26 on all that stuff. So I don't think I did too bad. Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found this time out of the Goodwill bins. Um, I'm not for sure what my favorite thing is. I love the church. I love the vintage Christmas, obviously. And then I love mushrooms, so lots of fun things. As always, if there is anything that I found that you guys are interested in, feel free to send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is also in the description below as well. And every once in a while, I also list on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Those links will also be in the description below as well too. But most everything that you see me pick up will be available in a live sale. I host my live sales every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time, so make sure you hit that bell button. That way you're notified every time I go live and when I post a new video. 
um, because as you know, this Sunday is Christmas, so I won't be having a live sale, but I decided to have a pop-up live sale before then. So, um, I'm either going to have a live sale sometime Friday or Saturday, probably Saturday. I'll probably have a live sale Christmas Eve. Um, sometimes so you'll want to make sure you hit that bell button that way you're notified every time I go or when I go live for my live sale because I'll have a lot of fun things such as this church so yeah and as always don't forget to like share and subscribe and until next time keep smiling and happy picking bye guys Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking.